nobody can take what's already mine and I can't take what's already written for somebody else. Like it's already, if it's written for me, it's written for me. If it's in God's plan, it's in God's plan. If it's not in God's plan, then it's not going to happen. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Jasmine. I go by Pin of Couture with two E's at the end. I've been wanting to do a chit chat type of get ready with me on my channel for a while now. So I have some time. So I'm like, I'm excited to get this one going. So I'm a part of a group called Charlotte Content Creators located, of course, here in Charlotte. Um, we're going to brunch today. So I decided, let me kill two birds with one stone let me go ahead and record my makeup process and you know my outfit what i'm wearing to brunch and do a, a youtube video while i'm at it i said i'm going to start doing chit chat videos more often so this one is going to be just a brunch edition what i'm wearing for brunch today so before we get into this video stop what you're doing go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you are already subscribed and you are a returning subscriber Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in and continue to watch my videos. So I did my hair off camera, just have my hair, you know, my bun, I'm bun head shorty, I always have my hand in a bun. Um, and yes, I'm wearing my scarf so I can lay my baby hair, lay my edges, like, you know, yes, black people, we wear our scarves, okay? So I'm wearing my scarf to keep, you know, the gel set everything. Um, I also did my eyebrows off camera. Um, I'm leaving the concealer on, so if it looks crazy, don't worry, it's gonna it's gonna come together. So yes, I'm gonna just leave the concealer on right now. I like to keep my concealer on until I'm finished with my makeup. For some reason, I don't know, it just it just sets everything for some reason. I did use the CoverGirl, what color is this? This is the T700 caramel on my eyebrows. And then I just filled this in with an eyebrow pencil. And the pencil I actually use is from, what is this? This little old wet and wild pencil is so ran down. I'm not picky when it comes to my eyebrows, what I use on them. I feel like I'm, I'm used to just finessing my eyebrows. So it's, I think this is actually a lip liner, to be honest. Okay, so moving on, I'm gonna start by setting my face. This is the NYX Radiant Finish. Um, I've been using this for a while now and I just like, oh, oh, it's so wet. I like how, mm, it gives you such a nice everyday glow. So I've been loving this. At first I didn't like this and I mentioned this in my uh, favorites one time. I did not like this at first, but now I actually really do enjoy this. As you see from the title, I wanted to talk about how social media. Social media is the topic of discussion today. Let me get a little mirror because I feel like I'm going to need a little mirror. I'm just priming my lids with some concealer. I use this every single time before I apply any eyeshadow onto my eyes. I wanted to talk about social media today because I feel like with my generation and even the next generation after me, social media plays such a big part in our lives. Like people are addicted. People, I'm kind of addicted. I'm on the I'm on the verge of being addicted to social media. Um you know you get an instant high when you get a like, when you get a comment, when you get a DM, just anything. You're like, oh, somebody liked my photo. I'm, you know, I, it's just, it's something that can be very, very addicting. So I do think it's very important to disconnect from social media from time to time. I think you have to allow yourself to come back to earth and refocus your attention elsewhere. For my lids, I'm going in with this MAC eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to be taking these colors, this gold, this brown, and then this chocolate brown up top for my, um, to blend everything out. I feel like social media has played a huge part in people's success, especially with influencers. If you are one who is an influencer or trying to be an influencer, social media is going to play a huge part in of course getting there i know for me personally there are times when i not self-compare but well i guess it is yeah i guess it is a form of self-compare where i'm like tag why can't i do that or how do i get there with growing my instagram account and then i have to tell myself you have to do what you want to do. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Like your life is not their life. And then a constant reminder is social media is not real life. 
social media is not real life people it's not it's not real life there is only one jasmine there's only one you there's only one me nobody can take what's already mine and i can't take what's already written for somebody else like it's already if it's written for me it's written for me if it's in god's plan it's in god's plan if it's not in god's plan then it's not going to happen i think a lot of times we get caught up in numbers and subscriber accounts and who's doing what and how to do that especially now too it seems like everybody wants to live this lifestyle right and when i say this lifestyle i mean the lifestyle of luxury and it's almost as if if you don't have it i don't want to watch you or you're not as interesting does that make sense and that's that's not the truth and that's not reality reality is everybody can't afford a chanel bag everybody cannot take vacations every two weeks that's reality of most working nine to five people are not taking vacations every two weeks most nine to five people are not buying going to the gucci store and buying five bags or buying a chanel bag whenever they feel like it it's nice don't get me wrong I would love to sit here and say that, but it's not, it's okay if you don't have that. If that is a lifestyle you want, you have to change things and do things to achieve that. I'm gonna just take this chocolate brown and blend it out into my crease. For me personally, I have to remember, there are times where I'm like, oh my gosh, I want this bag so badly. But then it's like, but don't you have that bill to pay? Shouldn't you be doing something other than that money? Like, oh, these shoes look really nice, but I can spend this $600 and put it to my business. And I constantly remind myself that it's gonna be your time soon. Like, your time is going to be when it's your time. If it's meant for you to have those things, you are going to have those things. So I think with social media, sometimes we get so caught up on seeing others with this lifestyle and buying these expensive bags and buying these expensive shoes and I'm referring to women but also men as well um you know you get caught up on seeing maybe the guy is driving the nice uh Maserati and all these other designer um designer all these other um types of cars and we just get caught up on like oh this person has money and this person has this sort of lifestyle i want to live in i who is this person how do they get that i want to be around them i need to be that type of person where like i said social media is not real life we you don't know that person's background story you don't know what that person did to achieve these things i'm sure it was not easy now some people yeah they probably just got it instantly and then others had to really work hard for it so yeah, sometimes I have to take a social media break because I get sucked into it. I'm like, why am I not living my lavish lifestyle already? Like, why am I not there? And then I know for me why I'm not there is because I'm very lazy at times. I I know what it takes to get to where I want to do to where I want to be, but I can be extremely lazy and laziness can hinder people's success. So I'm pretty much finished with my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes on really fast and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I threw my lashes on y'all. Um, I don't even know the last thing I was saying, but pretty much all in all, what this boils down to is sometimes it is very important to take a social media break. You need that time to disconnect and recharge. I'm about to put my so now i'm about to put my foundation on i use the cover girl this is the d10 i think it's called caramel caramel oftentimes it's so easy to get consumed and wrapped up in social media especially like with instagram um, oftentimes people you know you start to compare your lives to others on social media and you start to think what you're doing um you're not doing enough or it's not good enough which that is so not the truth you know you have to remember like i said earlier social media people on social media have a habit of showing the good nobody really shows the bad or you know the things that they're going through let's say with the job you know people will say oh i just got a new job i'm the vp of this etc etc but you don't know they just got fired from their last job and it was just prayer and luck and hard work and dedication that got them there they didn't show you the bad that they maybe were unemployed for 
three months and didn't know what was, where their next meal was going to come. Nobody's going to show you the bad times. Everybody's going to paint themselves as the perfect picture. I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Flawless um, Long Lasting Concealer. So for me, some of the things I like to do to disconnect from social media, I enjoy reading. I have to have my me time. Reading is my me time. That's one thing I would definitely say. If you're looking for ways to disconnect, find things that you enjoy doing. But like when you read, you escape reality and then it's, it's almost like... It's almost like a reality show, but you're reading it because you want to know, oh my gosh, you get you get so engrossed in the stories, the, the characters, the book. Also, I would say do things that make you happy. For me, whatever that may be, regardless of how different it is from the norm, whatever makes you happy, go ahead and do it. Me, I like to plan. Planning is what makes me happy. I literally will sit on my bed for like hours and plan out upcoming events <laughs> i text in my family group chat like hey uh wicked is coming here a uh, cinderella um there's a little day party uh i don't know whatever events i'm always trying to find something to do so i'm a i'm the planner i love planning and that makes me happy that literally i take like a couple hours to just plan out my day i even plan out my content and that is my way to just disconnect from you know off the internet because if i don't do if i don't do stuff like that i literally can sit on my phone for a while and scroll you know you just scroll pe through people's timelines and you're just looking and you just you're just going through everybody's life and you're like oh my gosh and you feel like you're missing out on something and real in reality you're, you're really not you're really really not before covid I used to think like with social media influencers and I would just see them posting all these photos, these different outfits and I was always like, dad, she's always out or he's always going somewhere like that. They're always on a trip. They're on vacation again. Dad, that's so nice. I wish I, you know, I wish I could live this lifestyle. Once quarantine hit, I find that's when I realized like, okay, so y'all whole time y'all was just going outside taking pictures and then posting it wow i really thought y'all was going out every single time like every day i did i was oblivious i didn't even know people would just go outside put outfits on take their photos and then come back in the house i was like oh snap she's really going out every every other day i was like that's so nice and so one thing and so one thing i started doing to like get me out of that like social media craze or feeling like i'm not doing enough or I'm not where I want to be with my social media page. I started to follow accounts that inspire me. I started to follow, you know, other influencers, other small influencers who I can watch them grow. You know, ones who are at 5,000, 3,000, even some that are at 10 and just watching them grow on a daily basis and seeing, you know, their progress. I joined this group, Charlotte Content Creators, which I'm going to brunch with them today. And that has helped me a lot with just just knowing that we're all in the same boat you know okay so i'm taking my setting powder this thing is so old it's the bid nye banana setting powder and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply that everywhere i apply concealer another thing that i do to disconnect is movies hello that is the perfect time to get off your phone because you have to pay attention uh -huh. i also got a little white mustache <laughs> Speaking of, Cruella just came out. I don't know if anybody's seen it yet. Well, it didn't just come out, but Cruella is now on <laughs> Disney Plus. I'm a, I love the little Disney movies. I love the little kid movies. Um, but that's on Disney Plus now, so I'm, I think I'm gonna have a movie night by myself and just watch that and just relax and enjoy the rest of my evening and prepare myself for next week. I'm gonna let my setting powder sit for a couple of, you know, just a couple of seconds. But I did want to piggyback on something when I said about being discouraged and feeling like you're not good enough. Um, I know for me personally, I, there's times where, with YouTube, specifically with YouTube, I feel like my channel isn't growing as fast as I thought it was going to be. You know, you have this idea of, or you have this plan and these goals like, oh yeah, I'm going to be at 1K and get monetized. I don't know in six months and then six months comes and then you're like oh I'm only at 300 then next thing you know a whole year has passed and you only got halfway there so you have to remember you have to give yourself time and everybody's race is different there are some people who are going to get on here and be at 1k in 
two months there's people who are going to get at one here and be at 1k in two years you know it just really all depends and you can't get discouraged from it you have to keep going you have to keep pushing if this is something that you want to do you're going to do it anybody oh while i'm sitting here so while i'm letting my setting powder sit really fast if anybody has any suggestions on book rush recommendations please list them down below i love reading I'm always interested in finding like new books to read and I started where I was doing two books a month. I kind of slacked off but I said in total for the year I want to be read 12 books. So if anybody has any suggestions make sure you comment down them below. Thank you. Alright so I'm just going to take this fluffy brush from e.l.f. and start brushing this out, fanning this out. I'm gonna take this little MAC blush here. I don't even know the name of it. It's still, I think it's called Style. It's so old, y'all, it's so old. Yeah, I think that was pretty much it that I wanted to talk about with social media. But in all in all, I just wanted to say, but yeah, pretty much it's just finding things to make you happy, taking time to yourself, doing things that you enjoy doing, and not getting, you know, so wrapped up in that whole, I feel like I have to be here, or I'm supposed to be doing that because it's, that's not what it is that's not real life that's not reality and i don't know where this whole you have to be an entrepreneur now to be successful came from like that whole mindset that if you're not an entrepreneur you're not doing why you don't run your own business why you're working on the phone that's no 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 please do not believe that one because i know plenty of doctors i know plenty of lawyers i know people who work just a regular nine to fives who are making boo cool bank okay there we go so i'm just lining my lips with this lip liner from mac i mean not mac this brown lip liner from nyx but yeah uh you do not have to be an entrepreneur to be successful that is that is not the truth <laughs> one of my friends from high school was like y'all not blending out your lip liners and i was like oh snap am i blending out my lip liner so now i'm like making sure my my lip liners are blended but yeah entrepreneurship is not for everybody everybody doesn't want to be a business owner everybody doesn't want to have that lifestyle so don't if you are working a regular nine to five do not let people make you feel bad because you're not you don't have your own business or you're why haven't you started something no don't it's okay it is totally fine working your nine to five job oh and I just put, um, I'm so bad at this I'm talking, but I just put a MAC, it's called a Sexy, it's like this little nude brown, I just put that on my lips, and then I'm about to go on with this Morphe lip, lip gloss, and this is the color Freebird. I knew that I didn't want to work for anybody anymore, just because I had dreams of owning my own business i don't want to say what it is yet but i had dreams of doing what i'm about to do next i i'd seen it for years and years now so now that it's finally happening now that i'm getting out of my comfort zone it feels good and that ties into social media because i see so many people doing the same thing so i often get very discouraged where i'm like Dang, well should i even do this anymore should i even you know there's so many of this but it's like jasmine you have your own you are your own person, you are creative, you have a different vision for your thing than they have for their thing. Now I'm just gonna take this gold, um, this golden brown highlight from Milani and I'm just gonna apply that as my highlight real fast. Listen, y'all know I like to be um, Tin Man over here. If my highlight isn't shining like the Tin Man, I didn't do it right. <laughs> okay, so we're pretty much we're pretty much done with my makeup. Um, let me go ahead and take my scarf off because, you know, see what we're working with. My bun. Okay, yeah. So my baby hair is always my edges and baby hairs always get messed up. So I'm about to just get my little brush and just kind of slick that down really fast. The last thing I did want to say before I get dressed, always remember to be yourself. I know social media can make you feel like you know i want to be like that girl i want to have the designer bags and i want to be famous or an instagram baddie or whatever the case whatever it is you aspire to be but you have to remember to always just be be you like i have to be jasmine nobody else is going to be jasmine 
I have my own little my little flair, what makes me me, what makes me different, what makes me stand out. And you use that. You use that to get to where you want to be. Okay, uh, that's as good as it's gonna get right now because I need some gel. <laughs> Okay, so for my eyebrows, I just take Q-tips and I kind of just clean the concealer up. That's, ooh, excuse me, that's literally the last thing I do. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that really fast. Just blend that out and wipe that concealer away. After I finish blending this out, every single time I throw them away in the bathroom, and my boyfriend, I know he probably looks at it as like, ew, but I have to tell, and every single time I have to remind him like, that is makeup, it's not for my ears, like, it's it's makeup because it does kind of look like ew that came from your ear so that's pretty much it for the makeup today oh let me um put my setting spray on one last time Ooh. okay okay so that's it for the makeup for today i'm about to just get dressed i'm gonna show you guys what i'm wearing really fast I'm not doing too much of my outfit because it's brunch. I'm just doing like a white button up, keeping it real simple, white button up. I'm gonna do a denim skirt. I'm gonna put on my gold Versace earrings. I'm gonna pair it with my Fendi shades. And then I'm gonna add a pop of color. So I'm gonna do some yellow um, mules. So let me just get dressed and I'll show you guys the outfit after I'm finished. Right, so I'm already dressed. I'm gonna do a split screen hair. I don't know which side it's gonna be on of my outfit. So I'm wearing, my hair of course is in a bun. I did my makeup. I'm wearing my gold Versace earrings. And I have on a simple white button up that I got from H&M. I'm pairing it with a denim skirt. This denim skirt I'm gonna re-iron. My son rolled on it. I had it laid on the bed and he decided to climb on the bed and roll on it. So it's a little wrinkled, but I'm gonna re-iron it. And then I'm wearing my YSL denim chain purse and then I paired it with some yellow mules now these mules are from shoe dazzle I believe yes so that is it you guys for my chit chat get ready with me um I hope you guys enjoyed this video bottom line I just hope you guys remember to just live in the moment enjoy your time here life is too short don't focus on the negative always be positive and yeah make sure to do things do whatever you want to do if you don't leave here with anything else remember to do what makes you happy as always you guys don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye